Hey guys, Advanced Logic. Welcome back to Legend of Zelda: Link's Awakening. In the last part, we got we finished up as far as the training secrets we can get. Well, not really. We just didn't want to go out of our way to go through the rest of it, and we went through the fourth dungeon and actually managed to fit it in the last part. And in this part, we're gonna be collecting a bunch more things. And yeah, sweet. All right, now that we got the flippers. We don't have to worry about goddamn drowning. So let's just make our way all the way around here. Let's make our way back to the village, I think. Ah, crap, I forgot. Shit. Hey, gone. I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. And, uh, crap, I forgot. We're gonna, we can get a couple more things in here. For one, go to the left right here and make your way into this. Oh, look, a fish. Can we kill it? Nah. I am Monbo's child of the sunfish. Have you got an ocarina? Hell yeah. Ha ha ha. Then I can teach you my song. Boop. Music time. Beautiful choreography. I applaud you, sir. And we learned Monbo's Monbo. When you get out of the water, play it. Uh, nah, not just yet, anyway. For now, let's make our way all the way through here. And from here, we can just get another heart piece. And that's going to be our eighth, and it's going to make for our second of three available heart containers that we can get through heart pieces. And thank God in this game, you don't have to run into Maple or anything. Unfortunately, I do kind of miss her. She gave me some goddamn challenge in this. Anyway, in this part, you gotta dive somewhere around here, and you can get a heart piece. There it is. And there we go. And that makes for our ninth heart container. Sweet. Anyway, let's just continue onward. From here, now we can play goddamn Mambo's Mambo. I'm gonna try standing on there. There we go. And you can see we got the second song. If you use it, no matter where you are in the overworld, it, it's a teleporter. Oh, look! Remember when I told you guys remember this? To remember this? Well, yes. This is where it always teleports you to, no matter where you are. So you could kind of use it as a shortcut or whatever, but, uh, nah. And if you wanted to, you could get the secret medicine too, but, eh, I'm good. I already got it. <laughs> anyway, from here in Oh god, we're being haunted! This is like a fuck- Is this game possessed? Oh, crap, I remember now. <laughs> Shit. Anyway, hey. No. Anyway, let's actually continue on this trading sequence. With a goddamn scary-ass ghost following me. Oh, God, man, I'm scared. <laughs> nah, nah, I'm not. Anyway. Oh, my God, I almost fell in there. Anyway, make your way in here. What's this? A letter for me? I'm so happy. And look, the letter came with a photograph. What the fuck? Hmm, she's so beautiful. I must give you something for your troubles. Hmm, well, it looks all I have is this broom. How'll that be? Ah, uh, sure. And we get the next item, the broom. And for your reward for Mr. Wright, but that photo was not of... <laughs> as you guys can see in this game, they have a, quite a number of Mario references. I mean, seriously, if that wasn't a hint enough of the Mario reference, I don't know what is. And stop following me, goddammit! I'm scared here, man! What the fuck? Oh, yeah. Maybe a little moonwalking ought to help me get not scared. Look at this. <laughs> oh, goddammit, I don't need a guardian acorn. I have the fucking blue clothes. I don't need a... I don't need a goddamn acorn. Anyway, if we make our way over here, we can continue on with the next diamond in the trading sequence. Anyway, let's... Alright. Here it is. And talk to Lurira's wife. Yahoo, yahoo, a new broom for me? It is, isn't it? Hell yeah. Sweet. Okay, in return you can have this fishing hook I found when I swept by the riverbank. And there we go. And we changed the broom for the fishing hook. What will the fishing hook become? Uh... I already know, and I know what the damn end result is going to be. Goddamn worth it, that's what it's going to be. Anyway, this goddamn ghost is following me. I'm going to put it out of its misery or something. And goddamn it, I don't need the guardian acorn. 
I need a piece of power. I got enough defense as it is. And die. Thank you. I just killed that thing out of nowhere. I, I don't know. Anyway, I'm looking over here and I'm looking at my notes. Oh yeah, there's another piece of heart. So, uh, this ghost's misery, we'll have to wait for another day. Because I'm getting another piece of heart here. Hey. I'm checking my freaking tent stopwatch and I'm already like almost six minutes into this. Stop following me! Your music scares me, man. God damn it. Get away from me. I'm trying to run. Anyway, from here you can just drop all your way in, drop your way into this water. And what you gotta do is swim all the ray all the way all the ray. All the way around the castle. God damn it. I wonder if I should speed this up. Nah. I don't think I can keep track of that. So let's just continue onward. This is tediously no, oh, this is just tedious. Screw it. Well, at least we can actually swim in fucking water. That's good to know. Anyway, let's just make our way all around the all the way around the castle, and it should be right around. Nah, goddamn, this is a huge ass castle now that I look at it. Here we go. I think from this part, you just gotta yep dive around this wall right here, and you can find the piece of heart. Finally. And crap, I gotta swim all the way around again. Uh, I'll be right back. All right, some fucking land, finally. Anyway, from here, let's actually put this goddamn ghost out of its misery, finally. I think that's all the heart pieces we can get up to this point. Oh wait, crap, I remember. You could also get an upgrade too. The second of the three upgrades available. And I forgot to mention to you guys er, way earlier what the second upgrade is. It's a bomb upgrade, so yeah. Let's make use of that. Anyway, all the way from over here, we're going to have to make our way to this area. Or, er, all the way to the Martha's Bay. Right around here. And yes, this ghost is going to have to wait. I don't think it's around here. I can't remember how to get to it. Alright, here we go. Make your way through this cave once more. Good times this cave was, with all its damn enemies in it. Hey. Anyway, now with this part, we just have to make our way all the way over here. Actually, shit, I just remembered. While we're here, I'm just gonna get this damn ghost out of its misery and we're all like, you have to bring it back to its house, which is, coincidentally, right here. Here, enter my house. Stop talking to me, man. Anyway, if you walk to Wind's house, then uh, nothing. It's just gonna be checking around. Nostalgia unchanged. Boo hoo. <laughs> Enough. Cemetery. Take me, my grave. Okay, finish your sentences first, and then we'll take you to your goddamn grave. Then again, I never finish my sentences. <laughs> what the hell am I trying to prove you something? I don't know. Anyway, actually, shit. Hey! No! Goddamn Zora. You could just swim your way to this little island. Hey, my grave! Take me! Hey, shut up! We're doing my shit first. I'm the one with the body. I get to do what I want. Anyway, here's another secret seashell that you can get. There we go. You know what's good? I am going to take it to its goddamn grave right now. Anyway, for this part, you could just do this. Actually, shit. You don't need to do that just yet. Slash at this. There we go. Make sure at least one of those are cut. And then... Long jump your way over there. And then here we go. You'll need the Zora Swooplers in order to get to this point. Because you can't swim any farther than this. Stop following me, goddammit. Even though I do have to take you to your goddamn grave. And make your way down this little path. And here it is, the second well. Pull out your magic powder once more. I'm actually going to pull out the bombs in here. Shit. To show you guys the bomb upgrade. And here it is, this guy again. Hey kid, you woke me up from a fine nap. Thanks a lot, but now I'll get my revenge. Are you ready? Uh, yeah, yeah, I've seen this before. Carry more bombs. Thank you for that. 
Yes, yes, seizure, seizure. There we go. Hey, <laughs> you deserve it. Look at that, now we can carry 60 bombs. Oh no. What am I gonna do with all these bombs? Kill shit, that's what. Anyway, I'm gonna cut back to once I've made it back to the witch's hut, so I'll see you guys in a little bit. Alright guys, I'm back, and here we are back to the witch's hut, and there's the guide's grave. So let's get this out of the way, God's sakes. Stop following me, god damn it, this is annoying. And let's just get to its grave, there it is. Thank you, a jar in my home. Look inside, bye bye. And the ha- and the fucking owl. Hoot, it's been some time since our paths crossed, lad. You must dive into the waters of Martha's Bay to enter the catfish's maw. The closer you get to the windfish, the more restless he sleeps. Carry onward. Hoot! Well, shit, I wouldn't want to be restless in my sleep. Should I just keep going? Ah, uh, yeah. Anyway, walk up to the grave and a photo book opportunity. Ah, oh, how I love pictures. Hey, Link, what are you doing here? You want to know about that ghost? I'll bet he's happy thanks to you. Are you ready for a picture? Anyway, make your way to the little grave thing right here. I'll call this, I was very afraid. Smile. Ah! Hmm. Oh my god, <laughs> you showed up in the picture. That scared me, I don't know. Anyway, now that we got that out of the way, we got a photo book opportunity. And I'm actually going to make my way all the way back to this house, so I'll see you guys in a little bit. Actually, before we get to the freaking, the one ghost's house, let's make our way all the way back here. Now we can actually swim to this island, which has a secret seashell. Cut it from the top, because if you cut it from any other side, it's going to end up landing in the water. As such. And there we go. Now we got 19 secret seashells up to this point. Thank God, finally. Now we just need to get one more. Which is why we need to go to the ghost house. So now I'll see you guys in a little bit. Alright guys, I'm back here at the ghost's house. And now to grab that one item he was hinting at. As you guys see, we have 19 secret seashells, which means we need one more in order to get that last upgrade thing from the seashell mansion and this is the 20th as you guys see all three of those seashell things are lit up but uh, if you guys want to get the sword right now by all means head your uh, head all the way to the seashell mansion and get it but uh, I'm still gonna collect the last five that are available because if you try getting it now the remaining five are gonna be impossible to get because they're just gonna become rupees which is bullcrap so yeah I still got a long way to go before I actually get all 25, so... Anyway... I think that's everything we can get up to this point. Actually, crap, I forgot! The trading sequence, of course! How could I forget? So, let's actually continue on the rest of it. Because, uh... Wait, I'm checking my notes really quick, hang on. While I'm trying to play... Oh, right! We just got one more photo book opportunity. Anyway, you guys see this little mermaid. When I was swimming in the bay, the waves took a very important necklace from around my neck. If you find it, I will let you take a scale from my tail. Uh, all right. Hehe. <laughs> scale tail. Duck tail. I don't know. Anyway, from here, remember that one uh, secret seashell that was right around here? And screw these enemies. Damn, I hate that they're hidden like that. Anyway, from here, make your way under this bridge and dive under it. Hey, look, of course, a fisherman. Oh, what is that? Have you had? And you're having. Ah, it's not a fishing hook, is it? You'd better let me have it. I'll give you my next catch if you let me have it. All right. Keep your eyes open and watch a pro at work. You're no pro. There we go. My, that's a big one. And there we go. We got the necklace. <laughs> Lucky. Anyway, let's make our way out here, and make our way under here again. Oh, wait, crap. Eh, not yet. We have to finish up the rest of the trading sequence, goddammit. Anyway, what we gotta do here is make our way back to the mermaid. And no, not that. That ain't no mermaid, that's a merman. Anyway, where the hell's that mer- Oh, wait, it's up here. Crap, 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 crap. You know what? Screw it. I'm, a I'm gonna cut it here, so, uh... Next time on Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening, we're going to get a scale from this mermaid's tail. <laughs> and we're going to continue on to the sixth, the fifth dungeon. I'll see you guys then.